Hello, this is Jiri Huang, a bio bee who will deliver the latest honey-like news from the Korean bio industry to you earlier than anyone else in the world. Good to see you guys again. I'm back today to inform you of the most honey-sweet issues in South Korea's bio industry. Please don't forget to subscribe to BioTV and set up notifications. And by turning on notifications, you can receive the latest honey-like information even faster. Now then, shall we go and take a look at today's sweetie sweet news? Pioneer has developed a kit capable of exclusively detecting the new Omicron variant of the coronavirus as well as another kit that is capable of detecting both the Omicron and Delta variants. Pioneer's new test kits, the first of their kind in South Korea, are expected to help countries around the world respond proactively to the urgent need for the vaccines against the rapidly spreading Omicron variant. Thanks to their ability to distinguish between the two different variants, they are expected to become a helpful tool for effective patient treatment. Bioneer says that it was able to launch the products relatively fast compared to other companies because it had developed every element of the products independently from raw materials to equipment to regions. Even more to its credit, the company is consistently engaged in analyzing the genetics of variants of the virus. It designed an oligo set that detects the genetic material of the Omicron variant as well and is confident that it will be able to competently respond to new variants that may arise in the future based on its technology, which fuses genomes, big data, and artificial intelligence. With anxiety about the situation growing globally, I hope to hear more good news at the soonest possible time and would like to express my support for Bioneer, who are on track to becoming a COVID-19 beater based on cutting-edge biotechnology. According to Korea Bio and South Korea's Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy, the country's bio industry recorded the largest increase in its history in both production and exports last year. To be specific, bio exports exceeded about $8.4 billion in a first for the industry, while the production volume increased by 38% compared to the previous year. Production in South Korea's bio industry exceeded $14.3 billion last year, showing a near twofold increase in just five years on 2016's $7.5 billion. Furthermore, the industry's bio exports recorded an all time high of $8.4 billion. This figure is a 53.1% increase on the previous year. And to be more specific, exports of biomedical devices such as in vitro diagnostic devices, along with the biopharmaceuticals, and exports from the biochemical and bioenergy sectors increased by more than threefold. What would be the reason for such increases in exports from the K-Bio industry? The answer is that the COVID-19 pandemic has led the industry towards significant growth in both production and exports. South Korea's Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy said that in order to ensure the continued growth of the country's bio industry in the future, it would continuously expend investment in the field of future foods, such as synthetic biology, advanced biotechnology, and digital therapy. I'm happy to hear all the good news about the bio industry, and I think that there hasn't been anything bad lately. With the hope that this impressive growth spurt of the K-Bio industry goes on and on, I'd like to ask BioTV subscribers to also keep an eye on its journey. Well, that's all the honey sweet news we have gathered for you today. I will be back soon with new and even sweeter issues related to South Korea's bio industry. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. Bye.